Hey guys, welcome back to the build video of ERC Time Save. In this fourth video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the CNC shield as well as the wiring of the machine. So in this part, you are going to need Arduino Uno, CNC shield, two stepper driver, a wire of a 5cm length, can be as small as 22 AWG, and six of these jumpers. And these wires, they are stepper motor wires, as well as power wires for the brushless motor, as well as the extension lead of 2 meter for the servo. The power supply is a 2 meter extension as well and uh, 22 AWG will be more than sufficient. Also I've added cable organizer, one is a 6mm, another is a 10mm as well as this thin 0.5mm thickness arc click together with the cable organizer. I'll show you in detail how I install this on the machine later. Now let's start with the assembly of the shield onto Arduino Uno. I'll show you about the firmware and software on the next video. First, you're going to install this jumper on the X and Y axis of the board. This is to set up the micro stepping of your stepper motor to 116. Notice on the orientation. There should be three each on each, each axle in this direction. If you don't have a stepper, you can just find out the pins at the bottom and just solder it as if you jump it from the bottom. If you do not install this, then your scaling, your stepping will be different and the stepping will be, will be not as fine. Now, you install the heatsink that comes with the package onto your driver. And uh, it's very crucial to double check on the orientation. So this is the orientation of the board. And if you notice, there's a pot or potential meter over here. And then ground stated here. This should be the orientation. Plugging it in. In some case, it could be hard. You can just bend the pin or the pins a little bit. So you can see at the bottom right, there's a ground right ground wording here and uh, EN wording here on top left you can align it with the EN wording on the shield board as for the adjustment of the current I just leave it default and it works fine so far next we are going to install a wire sort of like a jumper wire the reason is that the common way to power CNC shield they would plug two wires here to power it up but then that means your power supply will be tied to the CNC shield. I would prefer that it's separated and uh, adding this cable will enable this connector on the Arduino Uno become a power input. The power will go from here to the wind pin and up to the CNC shield. And because of the very low current consumption of this whole machine, uh, which is only 1.1M under load, so it's fine to use this wind pin. And I've been tested multiple times there's no heat occur. So be sure look for the positive pin the bottom here. I'm going to solder one end to the pin. Then slot through the hole here. And solder onto the last pin of this left row. Please make sure that it's soldered properly and not touching the other pin. Now align the pins and there you go, completed. So with this wire mod, I can just unplug it and plug it back when I need to. If you bypass from here to here, then the wires could tie you down. Now by utilizing this wind pin and just unplug this way, Plug it back and I still get my power supply. Much more convenient. We have come a long way and now we are finally going to install the Arduino and CNC shield onto the side plate. We are going to need three M3 12mm screw, three lock nut and three normal nut. Now separate the shield from the Arduino Uno first and we will be only utilizing three holes which is this and this and this. We will not be using this hole because it's too tight to fit a screw or nut over. And on the board, I have also included extra holes for future expansion. So now try to line it up and find out which other hole is. I have confirmed which hole. I'm going to put the screw over. Good. 
put the normal nut. Tighten it. So in this case, if you don't have this nut, you can use a M3 size washer or spacer uh, by a 3mm thickness. Now install your Arduino. Notice the orientation. Okay, the power socket is up here. USB cable is down there. Now you can install the nut, lock nut. Tighten it. Now put on your CNC shield. Also take note on the orientation. So yes, finally we have reached this stage of putting the brain of the machine onto it. Okay, now about the wiring. Since uh, the machine is built and it's rather large, I don't have a table large enough, I'm going to do it on the floor. So the first thing, the easier part first will be installing the sapper motor onto the Arduino uh, and the CNC shield and uh, as well as the power cable for the brushless motor as well and uh, the servo wires so I've already pre-made the cables so I'm not sure uh, which is for the X or Y cable so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll plug onto the X cable first and then I plug one of it to the Arduino shield uh, so x-axis I'm gonna move the x-axis and see if there's any light here if there's no light then probably this is not the x-axis connector I'll try this one and now I can feel the resistance on the X motor and uh, the light lights up here so now I know X is connected to the X port and then Y motor to the to this side so I'll put a screenshot about uh, the connection over here uh, regarding the connectors polarity it could be different on yours so uh, if you are face issue where it's not moving or direction is uh, reverse, you simply reverse the connection over here. Or when it's powered up and it's vibrating, you need to swap the wires uh, among the four wires in each of this connector. You, you need to find your pair and you can Google about it. And I'm going to put in the power supply wires or the brushless motor. And uh, make sure you know the correct variety so I know on this side away from me is uh, positive this is how my board looks like after all the wires and connectors are plugged in but I think it's best that uh, you check on the one of the photo from the instruction to get a clear idea of how the connection should be now I'm going to organize the cable here by using cable tie cable tie here, here and here so regarding the acrylic plate here attached to the cable organizer you can do without the acrylic plate but there's a risk of this cable going underneath and uh, being cut by the cutter head so i added this for a worry-free experience i'm gonna need to uh, remove this roller here so that i can slot in the acrylic plate over here to get attached to it okay, after i have got the screw through the hole on the acrylic i attach the cable organizer to this grip here I reinstall the 6mm spacer and then the roller and the nut and you can plug your servo connection make sure the polarity is correct so that's, that looks good right now they are the same length so how do I attach this cable organizer to the acrylic plate is by cutting two slit carefully and then uh, tied it up with a cable tie just do about five along the line okay now to attach it to the acrylic plate so regarding this acrylic plate uh, you can probably buy it, buy it at a stationery store or you can just recycle it from uh, some packaging uh, with a clear plastic make sure you have the correct length of cable along 
at the full travel of the x-axis so you want it to be a little bit loose not too tight when it's at full travel now you can apply the cable tie over here to secure it the part on the left is just to secure the acrylic plate onto the mount notice the direction of the cable tie one is uh, vertical one is uh, horizontal so the one on the left is just to secure the acrylic plate then the one on the right is to secure the cable organizer to the mount so this is the part to secure the cable organizer on the mount you have to slot it from the other side you have to curve your cable tie a little bit for it to go up and uh, not getting blocked by the screw Alright, congratulations! You have now completed the build of ERC TimeSafe DIY CNC foam board cutter machine Don't get too excited yet because you have not flashed the firmware onto the Arduino Uno and uh, before that, please before you power it up, please ensure that you have uh, checked all the connection that is correct especially on the power supply priority and then uh, the cab cable connection as well make sure all the screws are correct uh, no screw is touching any electronics and make sure the servo also connected properly so in the next video i'm going to show you how to flash the arduino uno with a modified version of the grbl firmware so if you have not subscribed please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye